Okay. Hey, Steve. You've been doing a swell job putting the paper out in the morning. You just keep doing that and we won't have any problems. That's not much to ask, is it? Steve, I'm so glad you came back. What have you been doing? I visited the lodge, talked to the sergeant at arms there. He knows that there's something out of whack here. He told me if I wanted to find... I've decided to join the lodge, Stephanie. I think the answer to all... That place. It's so sinister. You may be playing right into their hands. Did you think of that? Doesn't it seem like you're being herded toward the lodge? That's one of the things I hope to find out. I hope finding out doesn't get you killed. My foe mother keeps me up on the latest gossip. Not like she really wants to talk to me. More like she's feeding me information. For instance, she told me that Mr. Johnson's Tucker... I've always wanted a Tucker. Funny that... Any idea who scratched the car? Why would you do something like that? It's part of the lodge initiate. I see. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but getting into the lodge is the best way to find out. By committing vandalism? It was a crime, Steve. Don't be so melodramatic about it. Sorry. You know the firemen? Someone stole some fabric from them, and they're up. Why would firemen spend their time decorating? Is it true? Yeah, just in time, too. He'd molested her and buried her alive. He couldn't bring himself to kill her outright, so he just decided to stick her in the ground and let fate take its course. Who? Who would do that to a helpless child? She says it was Mr. Potsdam. Oh, Christ. And all this time I've been under... Take it easy. So... Come back and visit me soon. Exquisite claw. Its loss should trigger quite a bit of dissension amongst our gallant firefighters. Still, that is not your concern. Your next assignment is to break into the tonsorial establishment of Mr. Pastorelli and... Lack of respect for authority. A fine trait for a member of the Order.
Yeah.